All right, we're going to be learning a lot of useful details about shell scripting today. Um, originally, I already recorded this video, but the thing is I didn't realize how dense it would be. So we're actually going to be talking about a couple things. Now, originally I was just going to do a little video on a little status bar module that I put up here a couple weeks ago. Basically, I wanted something that reads network traffic. And of course, to do that, I had to learn, all right, how does a Linux system store network information and stuff like that, and how to manipulate it efficiently. But there are so many little details. Let's, let's look at the script, okay? But there's so many little details that are worth talking about that, are, that go to make this script a little dense. Uh, so let's, let's just learn. You're going to learn stuff that you don't know. I guarantee you. I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Okay, so... Here's the deal. I wanted to make a little script. Here's what I wanted my script to do. Let's say I run it every five seconds or every second. It could be inter any interval. I wanted to say how much network traffic have I had on my computer, either downloading or uploading uh, in, since the last time I ran this thing. So if I have it running every second, it's going to show me the bandwidth per second. Or if I have it running every five seconds, it's going to show me the bandwidth over five seconds or a minute over a minute, stuff like that. So this is what it ends up looking like. I actually made some changes to this today. Uh, this first part doesn't matter. It's just the i3 blocks thing that makes it clickable. Um, but so here's the deal. Here's what you need to know first off about the Linux file system before we get into the shell scripting goodness. Okay. So one thing you probably already know, I, I, I assume a lot of guys who use the command line should know this. Um, if you go to sys class net, and look at the contents of that directory, that actually lists all of your uh, internet devices. So if it starts with W, it's probably a Wi-Fi device. If it starts with E, it's probably a, you know, a Ethernet device, right? Um, so within these, this is like a couple videos ago where we talked about battery information. It's the same thing. Within these directories, so let's look at the Wi-Fi directory. It actually has a whole lot of information about it. So, you know, carrier, let's look at carrier. Let's see what that is. Okay, let's see what, uh, let's see, uh, let's see if there's anything interesting. Does it have like a, well, you can look at, for example, upper state, which means is it up or down? Is it working or not? Now, specifically for our purposes, there's a folder in here called statistics. Okay, um, don't cat it, ls it. And it has a, it has a lot of information about network traffic. Specifically this, there are two that we're going to be looking at in particular. One is rx bytes. Okay, so I'm gonna cat that out and you're gonna get a number, okay? And there's also TX bytes, okay? Now what these two things are is that they tell you your cumulative network traffic. RX bytes means how many bytes you've received, you know, you, basically your download, okay? TX bytes is how many you have transmitted, okay? That's basically your upload, all right? Ignoring some details, I suppose. Um, so that's what those are. So that's actually all you need to write the script, at least all the, the system information you need. Uh, you don't need any silly dependencies or stuff like that. So that's, that's what I was working with. I only use this. And again, if I check it, let's say I check the RX bytes, the received bytes, the download bytes again, you'll see that it actually has gone up a little bit because in the background I've been, you know, tr maybe downloading something. I might have a script running or there's some other network traffic going on. Uh, okay. So that's that. Let's get this show on the road. So here's my idea for how this works. Uh, this is probably not the most efficient way to do this. That's one of the reasons I do videos on this because people will be like, no, that's not the most efficient way to do this, do this. But anyway, here's how I have it working now. What I do is basically every time the script runs, okay, uh, I'm gonna be reading this information and at the end of the script, I'm gonna be writing it to a file, okay, to store the previous information. And every time the script runs, it's gonna check, okay, here's the data now. Here, and let me look at the data we had a couple seconds ago whenever we ran this last. And let me see how much change there is. And that is gonna be the network traffic and it prints out that. Um, so let's actually go through what this is doing. I mean, that's the idea about it, but let's go through what this is doing. Now, as I said, there is a log file um, that I keep previous, you know, like the last time we ran it, how much uh, data we have transferred. I keep that in net log. And notice what I'm gonna do is I'm specifically going to take our received bytes, our RX, our current RX values, and our current TX values set to these variables, and I'm gonna put them in that log file. So it's gonna look like the RX values, space, TX values, two columns, so to speak, 
okay? So when this script starts, again, this stuff up here is only to do with the, you know, clickableness of it. So ignore that. Um, when this script starts, we are going to read data from that file and we're going to put it into prev data, previous data, you know, however you want to think of that one. Okay. So that's the la data from last time we ran this file. Now, um, what we actually did, well, then we have to do what I just talked about, right? Read the current information from the actual locations in sys, class, net, whatever, uh, statistics. Um, so, to be clear, first off, I have a little regular expression, a little glob here. Specifically, you know, here I, I'm looking just at my uh, wireless, okay? But really, I want all network traffic from whatever wireless or whatever internet devices I have. And of course, on different machines, if you have a different Wi-Fi uh, device, it's actually going to appear as something different. You can't just hard code it. It's not like that. So these three numbers, if we run that with that, these three numbers correspond to our three different network devices here. Okay, uh, so that's all that is. Now the only tricky thing about this is we want we don't want three numbers. We want one number. Okay, because we want to monitor monitor all network traffic and we want to add that up. Uh, you know we can't deal with just three numbers. So what I do here is I actually put them, first off, I want to put them so that I can do shell arithmetic on them. I want them to be like number plus number plus number. So what I do here is I actually pipe them into co the command paste, okay? So I pipe them into paste, and paste usually it's for putting files together, but you can actually with the S option just have it do a line by line thing uh, using the delimiter plus, and this is how that's going to look work. Uh, now, first off, I didn't actually know about paste until a subscriber opened a PR. Originally, I had like sed or tr doing this kind of stuff, or sed and tr, which is wasteful. Uh, if you can have one command doing it, it's always better for that, uh, at least if it's a good command, right? Uh, but so paste takes these numbers and it puts it sort of like, you know, so it looks like algebra, okay? So why this is good is as you know, or as you may know, you can... Uh, well, specifically, okay, so we can echo this out as a variable, but we can also put all of this stuff within uh, two, we can do the arithmetic thing in the shell. That is, we can have a dollar sign and two open parentheses, and then put two closed parentheses at the end of that. And that just means treat the stuff, is treat the output of whatever this command is, treat it as math, and show me what that is, and now I'm just echoing it. So if I run that, I actually get, instead of these three numbers, they have been summed up. So we have the thing we actually want. We have our current network traffic, okay? So again, we have our current network traffic uh, sent and received, and we've already gotten our previous network traffic. Um, now we just wanna put them all together in one command. And that's what I have here. This line, you know, this command here though, I will say is very dense. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, now let's look at, Okay, so this is a printf command. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Let's look at the things that it's printing. Okay, here's what I'm doing here. This, notice that this is arithmetic as well. It is the dollar sign plus two uh, parentheses. Um, specifically, let me space this out so you can see it a little better. Let's look at it for what it actually is, okay? Uh, let's, I don't know, maybe this is a bad idea because I'm gonna mess it up, but okay, so this is what's actually going on. It's gonna evaluate this as a math equation. It's gonna take the Rx current variable and it's gonna subtract prev data with all of this stuff. What is this? What exactly is going on here? Well, this is a string operation that says, okay, take the prev data uh, variable, which if you remember, that's the data from the log file that has the Rx, like our previous log file from the last time we ran this that has the um, uh, received bytes and the, the transmitted bytes separated by a space, okay? So what this thing is, is a string command saying, okay, give me the pre prev data uh, variable, but I want you to get rid of the, second, the space in the second column. That's basically what this is. It, the the um, percentage signs mean find whatever matches this, space plus you know a glob match and delete that that's basically what that means okay now why do i do that instead of sed or awk or something like that i think i said earlier i mean if you have if um 
If you have something built in in your shell to automatically do stuff like this, it's usually better to do that rather than calling an extra program to do it. And I, when I was doing this, I was thinking, okay, I got to optimize this. So uh, that's what I did. Anyway, all of that is to say, this is the previous amount of uh, bytes, and this is the current amount of bytes. So if we subtract, if we find the difference between them, children, that gives us the change in bytes, the actual network traffic. And since I want that to be, you know, I divide that by a hundred and or, or a thousand and twenty-four, so we actually get, you know, it, get it in KB, KIB, whatever. Um, so that's all this is. This is actually a very complicated looking thing, but this just does math. It says, okay, uh, and I should be clear, these um, parentheses here, right? These are parentheses, like math parentheses, okay? They're saying find the, the difference between these, then divide it by 124, okay? Very dense stuff going on here, but that's what's happening. So once we find that, once we get that uh, math equation, we have it run arithmetic on that. So this thing, all this thing in here, it's gonna be a number. So let's see, I could delete this, oops. Uh, it is gonna end up as being some kind of number, okay? All of that's gonna evaluate to a number. And the same thing with this. So this is gonna be our received bytes. This is going to be our transmitted bytes. Woo, okay. So now what, what's the printf command for? Well, the printf command just formats what we have and it inputs them in here as uh, st strings, okay, that's it. Actually, I probably wouldn't necessarily need printf. I think originally I was using like only use so many digits. Uh, it's better to use printf for that, but uh, anyway, that's, that's that. I could probably just echo that. Um, so anyway, that actually prints out the, uh, you know, what, what actually is going, the, the data, okay? And the last thing is we actually echo that, the, our new information to a file the log file we talked about a while ago. Okay, so summing up, let's rehearse this. Let's, let's rehearse all the things we've learned, okay? Um, we've learned how to find network information, specifically network traffic on any kind of Linux device, or I guess it works on other Unix-based operating systems. I'm assuming they're more or less in the same spots. Some, sometimes different distros put things in different places. But we now know where that stuff is. We know what RX bytes and TX bytes are. We know that that is all network information. And you should also know that there are many other kinds of information you can look at. You can look at dropped uh, bytes. You can see, you know, you could have something monitoring to see if you're uh, losing traffic or something like that. Um, so you've learned where that stuff is. Um, and so we made a little script. We talked about a couple of the different things. Uh, catting all these files and then pasting them together. We've talked about using shell arithmetic to add them all together. Um, and then uh, I guess we talk, you know what? I should probably do a whole video on these uh, string, uh, you know, manipulating strings and stuff like that because I think that's sort of a complicated topic that's worth talking about. But anyway, so again, what the script does, it reads the last time you wrote, you, you ran this file, how much data has been, um, you know, transmitted. Um, it compares that to what's presently been transmitted, finds a difference between those, prints it out as your network traffic, and then writes the new information to that file. So next time you run it, it's going to tell you uh, what the difference is. But yeah, that was a dense video. I don't know. I feel like that, that's the thing. When you're, when you're writing a, a good shell script, it should be something where like every line is like extremely complicated. I don't want to say extremely complicated. I think once you know what you're doing, you look at this and you're like, oh, okay, okay, I get it. But there's so many little details that I feel like I got to talk about because, uh, you know, I haven't talked about them on videos before. You know what? I, I sort of feel bad for the people who just randomly find my channel and think it's like super complicated stuff. It honestly isn't. I just sort of assume that everyone who's been watching has been watching every video in the past. But um, all right, now I'm just rambling. I'm going to turn this thing off. Uh, see you guys next time.